Now, many players and coaches know me as the serve surgeon. I love teaching the serve, but I thought today we'd make it more interactive and teach footwork concepts. That's what we're going to focus on today. The kick serve, forehand power, and footwork movement around the court. We're not your average tennis coaches. We've moved from all around the nation to build a company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin that encompasses our passion. We are Essential Tennis. Ian, Herbie, Megan, and Kevin. Welcome to our ET family. Come join us on our daily tennis adventures. So we're here in Milwaukee today, the, the headquarters of Essential Tennis. And uh, Ian and I, and Ian and the Essential Tennis team, are going to make a couple of videos uh, around a couple different concepts. Uh, the focus today for Ian and his group, the Essential Tennis, is to make a video on the kick serve and forehand power. And I'm going to focus on footwork. Hey, it's Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution, and really excited to be here with you today because I've got the Essential Tennis team. Ian, thanks for being with us on this video today and the whole team. We're going to introduce you to everyone soon. And we are going to focus on forehand power today. So everything you want to know about getting more power on your forehand, we're going to deliver it to you. We are going to start with Kevin Garlington right now with the first progression. This video is basically made up of five different parts, five different takes, and we're segmenting different parts of the forehand swing and talking about how to generate more swing speed and more power. So Kevin opened it up with the first one. Now Megan's going to take the, the next layer up, and then Kirby and myself will we each take one as well. Somebody's doubling up, I don't remember uh, who. Jeff's going to be demonstrating a uh, rotation and release drill with the medicine ball just to help the uncoiling process with the lower body and uh, the upper body as well. In this uh, last part of the video on forehand power, we're going to have uh, Ian is going to feed to me now. So the next progression, we were doing ball tossing before. He's going to feed to me, and Kirby's going to teach the concept. And again, the whole idea is around loading on the forehand, making sure you coil first and, loyal, and load uh, the outside leg, and then staying really relaxed with the arm and just letting that arm go to create that maximum acceleration and power in the forehand. Kick serve. We're gonna do some kick serve progressions. Go up and down like this. Yep, and so just getting them to understand that the, that kind of is the spin that you're looking for. Making it, yeah, we called it make it rain in the last one. Yeah. The rain and the rainbow. Yeah, rain and rainbow. Kick serve is the most desirable style of serve for tennis players and for really good reason. It's a top spin serve. It could be any variety of kind of different mixes and matches of types of spin, but it has a strong top spin element, which causes the ball to curve down in the box and then jump back up again, which is where it gets the kick name. And most players are like really straight and lateral. And so this is very different. It's focused on up and vertical. And I, if, you, if you can learn it, it brings huge confidence to your game because you can swing super fast, have it be really, really aggressive, but also very safe. That's why learning kick serve is so super important. Uh, we want you to have confidence and also a very competitive serve and safety all at the same time. So these drills are critical to having that trifecta with your serve. So that's why we're going over them with Jeff. Um, so progressions are so critical to success because what we're focused on is not one-off tips or secrets. It's all about long-lasting results. And when you have a process, a real system to stick to, the progression helps you to retain this, not just in understanding, but also in execution. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you uh, enjoyed the behind the scenes look of our collaboration. Jeff, really appreciate your time and your passion for the game and uh, coaching and, and everything. I uh, really appreciate it a lot. What's the biggest takeaway for you, Jeff, from well, our uh, collaboration together? Well, first off, I, I want to give you a plug. Uh, I started doing online lessons in 2010, 2011. I think you were a year or two ahead of me. And so you were really uh, a frontier, a forerunner in this video learning concept. And so I appreciate you uh, for, for blazing a trail, continuing to blaze a trail. And I'm, I like to do my part and yeah, uh, absolutely. Help, helping to move it, things forward in, in the world of tennis. We're both passionate about the game. As far as a takeaway today, I just think, first of all, the power of collaboration, uh, you reaching out. Uh, to me and asking me to come to Milwaukee to work with you. You know, I'm pretty much, a, uh, I got a solo 
uh, ship running out in Denver. You got a big team and uh, it's really cool to see behind the scenes how you're doing it, how you're running your business, how you're creating content and uh, your commitment to it. So that's my big takeaway is that we can collaborate. We don't have to compete and beat each other up. No. Uh, we can support each other. And uh, because they're, learning is about finding different sources and different information to, to get better and finding what works for you. And so that's what I'm all about. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's a huge benefit to us to be able to gain insight from you and process and different um, ways of explaining things. And, you know, as you used the word before, a growth mindset, I think too many experts kind of think they have it all figured out. So it's nice to spend time with somebody who uh, is open to, to learning and sharing and, and growing like together yep. uh, is great. And I think the same will be true for our audiences uh, who get to see us create content together, get a little bit different perspective, and uh, gain insight from a different uh, point of view. Yep. It's super valuable, so, so thank you. Yeah, stay curious, ask questions, and be open to learning. That's, that's one of the keys to success and happiness in life. So thanks again for having Absolutely. me out here again. Thanks for watching, everybody.